we are going to use complementary colors to shade this picture of an orange. The first thing we need to do is figure out where the light source is. Can you guess? You got it, it's in the upper left hand corner. A couple weeks ago, we shaded a sphere using pencil. Here's a reminder of how light hits a sphere. We have our light source, our highlight, our shadow, and our cast shadow. Don't follow along with this video, just watch as I sped it up super speed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is color in a yellow circle. And then I'm gonna lightly add a bit of the bright red to make it kind of an orangish color. Now notice that I'm spending a little more time on the shadow side because I wanna start with a darker orange on that side. So just spend a little time adding a bit more red to the half of the orange that's in shadow. So you might be thinking, yeah, this kind of looks like a peach. And that's because we can't make something look like it's in shadow if we just add a darker red. So in order to dull that orange down, I'm gonna add some blue. And as you can see, when I add the blue and make a duller orange, the fruit starts to look like it's in shadow. So adding the complementary color will give you a natural looking shadow. Okay, um, now you can add that little stem thing. I notice it's not up there on the very edge of the circle. It's down a bit. So um, as soon as you go putting things up on that edge, you flatten out your picture. So make sure you move it down into the circle a bit. And you can try and shave it, shade in those little um, creases that are around the stem um, with your blue. And I'm noticing that my creases look kind of green, but that's okay, I'm gonna go back in there with red and dull those up a bit. But first I'm gonna add a little more yellow and a little more red just to make my orange look more orange overall. So here we go. Yeah, so I'm just kind of adding a little bit here and there and smoothing everything out. So now I'm going in and I did some outlines around it to clean up the edges and I'm gonna color in that table um, all in blue. So to make it look like it's sitting on the table, we're gonna to wanna to draw the cast shadow. So look at the picture and see where the cast shadow is and then just draw it in. Now, you shouldn't be following along with me right now. Just kind of watch and see, see what I do. Um, you'll have time to draw later. So I'm just coloring in that shape of that cast shadow in red because the table is blue. And so what color do I wanna make the shadow? Orange, right? So I'm starting with my red and then later on I'm gonna go in with yellow over the top of it. So I'm kind of concentrating um, on making it a little darker right next to the orange. Um, so that's where the darkest spot is. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kind of go in there and experiment and layer on one color and then layer on another color. You're pretty much layering on all the primary colors in this drawing. So I'm just finishing up the cast shadow. And I've got my red, I've made it dark with the red and now I'm gonna dull it down by adding a bit of yellow and maybe a bit more blue. So it's kind of a matter of trial and error. There's no real recipe, but you kind of just have to start with a knowledge base and then experiment from there. Okay, now it's your turn to give it a try.